Welcome to Verbena High School, home of the Red Devils, located in Chilton County, Alabama. Verbena is a rural town on the outskirts of Clanton. When I say rural, we have a fire department and a Dollar General, and we just got that last year. Built in 1924, Verbena is a pre-K 12 school that is home to about 560 students. Our athletics consists of football, basketball, baseball, and softball. My name is Jacob Morris, I'm from Fabina, and I, I play football there, and I'm a middle linebacker, and I think we should have new lockers because when we sit them, they fall through. My name is Ethan Dobson, I play football for Fabina High School, and I believe we need new lockers because our, our helmet hooks are messed up and everything. My name is Nathaniel, Nathaniel Morris, I play outside linebacker. I think we need new lockers because they're tearing up and falling through. My name is Grant Lechewell, just not played for Verena High School. And I think we need a new locker school. We can't put our shoulder pads up. We're not following. My name is Jerry Quinn. I uh, play, play uh, football for Verena High School. I think we need a new fo uh, football locker because of all the tore up. Put the equipment in there and new hooks. I'm Josh Robinson, head football coach at Verena High School here in Verena, Alabama. I want to say thank you to Hallman for giving us the opportunity to apply for this, uh, for this loan for these lockers. Uh, we have an interesting history here at Ravina High School. Uh, the football program, uh, less than a year ago, it seemed like we may not be able to field a team. This decision was made in April and May of 2019 not to field a team. And so there was a coaching change. I got the job in June of 2019. We began to try to get some, some more guys out and work really hard to, to just to try to field a team, uh, period. And we were able to do that. We played, we played our, our, our season. We finished the last game of the year in, uh, in November of 2019 with 14 varsity football players. It's, it's extremely tough, but it was also rewarding. We're trying to, to, to build the program again build the football program back up. We're getting some more guys out, and it's been very encouraging, and it would be absolutely huge for us to be able to receive a grant of, of new lockers. I think that would that, that would excite the community even more. We're just trying to get this thing going again, and we just really believe that uh, we are, we're deserving of this. I know the guys and the community would be very appreciative, appreciative of it. Thank you again for just considering us uh, for this grant. We made huge gains this past year with two things provided by our board new bleachers on our home side, and a multi-purpose building. However, when I say building, it is a shell. It is up to us to complete the inside. This is a major hardship for a town and school our size. We do have an athletic club, but it is very difficult to raise this kind of money. So we will have to use this or beg and plead for something better for our kids.